Um, so guys, thank you so much for coming to my presentation about creative and critical thinking. Um, obviously, I really appreciate you guys dedicating a bit of uh, time and energy into this assignment um, on top of your already, you know, excessive workload. So I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, this presentation is uh, part of my development critical, developing critical thinking in others um, subject as part of my diploma of leadership and management. Um, and this presentation um, just goes through critical and creative thinking and how to sort of implement it in a workplace. Um, it's to um, also help better your understanding and what involves, you know, what's involved in um, incorporating this within your workplace. Uh, we'll also look into the key features of creative and critical thinking and how to apply them and the benefits through practicing critical and creative thinking. So, Um, also, we like this to be nice and interactive. So, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to um, please feel free free to <laughs> throw questions at me, um, and we can go from there. Um, okay. So, sorry, there's a lot of words there. Um, but we'll be discussing the key findings from the questionnaire that you guys completed last week, um, and just. We, I was able to identify some gaps in our knowledge, so we'll, we'll look into them. Um, and we'll also explore instructions of ways in which we can um, more effectively apply those critical and creative thinkings um, in regards to those gaps identified. Um, we watch a little short video which just goes into critical thinking a little bit more. Um, and then we're gonna find and discuss a workplace challenge that we have within our team or that you've identified when you've been a manager on the ward. Um, and this can either be an individual or a team challenge that you've found in the past. Uh, in terms of moving forward, um, I do require two more questionnaires. Um, so I'll give you another questionnaire um, uh, in a little bit, in about three weeks, and then again in um, three weeks after that. Once I collate all that information, then I feed that back to our manager as well as you with those findings. Okay, so what is creative and critical thinking? So creative thinking means thinking outside the box. Um, it means um, often like lateral thinking and the ability to sort of like pull ideas from different areas to try and come up with a better solution for everyone. It's the ability to perceive patterns that may not be potentially obvious um, as you are sort of grabbing things from different areas, pulling different people's ideas. Um, so it's not always sort of the most common um, solution that comes to your mind. Um, it might mean that you find new ways of carrying out tasks, problem solvings, or different ways that you'll meet challenges. Um, it also means that you bring a fresh and sometimes unorthodox perspective to your work, um, but it also usually helps your um, team become more efficient and more productive in the long term. Critical thinking is the kind of thinking in which we question, analyse, interpret, evaluate and make a judgement on what you read, write and hear. Um, and it comes from a Greek word, um, kritikos, uh, meaning able to judge or discern. So good, good critical thinking um, is making reliable judgements based on reliable information. So gathering all your information, understanding everything, and then making a, you know, a logical decision from that information that's being presented to you. Um, applying critical thinking doesn't mean that it has to be negative or focusing on faults. It just means that you're clarifying your understanding and your thinking, and so then breaking down the problems and finding the exact issue, um, and then interpreting the information and making a decision from there. Um, people who apply critical thinking, um, this isn't something that people are born with. You, you don't know how to critical think. It's something that you learn over time and something that you get better with with practice. So it's always a good thing to be practicing and, and trying to improve on. So some key benefits. Sorry, key features of creative 
thinking. Uh, is one flexibility? Oh, sh yeah, yeah. Um, is one flexibility? So um, being able to to go with the flow. You know, no judgment in terms of um, hearing other people's ideas, understanding where other people's perspectives are coming from. Uh, intense curiosity. So wanting to understand more. Positive attitudes. So having sort of a light and breezy approach to creative thinking is always helpful. If you've got a negative perspective, you'll often shut down ideas. So it's really important that we, we you know, are encouraging for these um, ideas to come forward. Strong motivation and determination and fearlessness. I think if we're scared of voicing our opinion, that means that we're not gonna allow our creative juices to start flowing. Um, in terms of key features for critical thinking, so evaluation of evidence, asking questions, thinking analytically, conceptualizing ideas, um, draw in differences, keep an open mind and synthesize information. So with critical thinking, it's all going through like a very, um, like quite a process, you know, you're understanding all your information, you're investigating, you're then pulling that information and you're coming up with that logical idea or solution. Uh, then we look at the benefits of both. So creative, like great teamwork is always really important in team bonding. When you're throwing out ideas, when you've got that no judgmental, um, you know, meeting space, safe space for everyone to come, collaborate, throw ideas out, you know, it, help really bond, it helps to really bond the team because they don't feel like they're being judged, they're not being criticised, we're all just there to um, engage, um, increase workplace engagement and interaction, improve ability to attract and uh, retain quality employees. I think if you're constantly negative or shutting down um, your staff or your colleagues, I think it just builds a negative um, relationship and people obviously don't want to stay if they don't feel like they're being of use. Um, so that's really important in creative thinking. Increase staff morale, fun and happiness and increase workplace um, problem solving and productivity. is all what some of the benefits of creative um, thinking. In terms of critical thinking, um, it encourages curiosity, enhances creativity, enforces problem solving abilities, it's multifaceted, it fosters independence, and it's a skill for life. So once you understand critical thinking, you can implement it in all different type parts of your life um, to help solve whatever issues come your way. So it's a really, really great skill to pick up if you can along the way. But do you think critical thinking is more, it's kind of one person going through it first before you're then putting it out to your team, whereas creative thinking is just... A lot more collaborative. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I, do th I think you can critically think, think as a team, mm -hmm. but I think it's a lot more like, sole person driven. Yeah. You need um, to process, you need to get all your information and you need to think about it properly before you then go back to yeah. the team and discuss yeah. it. And I think it also depends on your team. Like I was thinking about it from like a, like a six East four perspective where it was like, um, we were able to um, sit down with this particular performance management issue and be like, okay, this is our issue, these are all the documented things, this is all the policies that we're not complying with or she's not complying with, how do we figure this out? And we, we came up with a plan through that process. Yeah, yeah. But at the same time, I think that was very, um, you know, independent to that one particular situation. Yeah, yeah. 